guys, welcome back to Peace Square Sips and Confo with Pamela Guillory Lee and Call it Afro Angel Abinamo. And today we're going to talk to you guys. Well, first off, we're back again. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's been some, some things that's been going on, but thank you for tu tuning in. So, which brought us to talk about the topic. Self-care, what is it? Are you guilty of not doing it? Do you do it? Do you think it's selfish? Like, what is self-care? And how are we taking care of ourselves? And how are we investing in ourselves? Because I know at this point in life, sometimes it's uh, easy to ignore what we need for ourselves because we're so busy looking out for other people. Um, so, Facts. Uh, yeah, self-care is definitely needed. Um, I'm glad we're in a generation where we are focusing more on it. And I think with the pandemic, and Pam doesn't like to bring up the pandemic, but I think it helped that we took a break. We took a pause and we kind of like reevaluated our lives and looked over during that break period for a whole year mm -hmm. of what we needed for ourselves to make ourselves into better people, uh, where we can find more inner peace, whether it's that or just to make, not necessarily make life easier, but just how to deal with life. Because we were hit with so many, I'm sure everyone can mm -hmm. contest to that, different, so many tragedies and life changes and, um, you know, differences that, that's been going on. And that can drive one insane mm -hmm. so it's like how do we personally deal with that uh what are we doing to focus more on ourselves uh what are things that we want to maybe increase on in our lives mm -hmm. or um add more value to our lives as far as us as individual people mm -hmm. so we're going to expound more on that and talk about that today on our podcast so and also after the podcast speak amongst your girlfriends you know um your family members or whoever you're close to and just talk about how you're going to focus more on yourself sometimes it helps when you're discussing with other people and some things are private of course but it also helps if you discuss it with a close group of people of how you want to just better yourself as a person. Mm -hmm. So it's a way to encourage yourself and other people. So we're going to talk about that today. All right. So what do you consider self-care? How do you self-prioritize? What is taking care of Paulette? What does that look like? See this drink right here? Yes. <laughs> and for me too. Bye-bye. <laughs> this right here. Yes. Is the solution. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, candy is. is Danny, but liquor is quicker. It's <laughs> used to, but yes, it is. Yes, it yeah. is. So, um, what do you do for self care? Okay, so what I'm doing for self care now. Um, okay, so I decided that definitely during the pandemic I gained some weight, and I was like, you know what? I'm not shedding off the way that I normally mm -hmm. would. You know, the older you get. It's harder for those pounds to fall off. Mm -hmm. So, but I have a thing where I, I like to go out and meditate and walk. And mm -hmm. when I walk, I just, you know, think over things to kind of clear my head. I have recently moved. Well, I wouldn't say recently. Two years ago, I moved away from where I could do a lot of walking around. I, I moved more into the inner city. So, I don't feel comfortable walking in that area. Not to say, I'm, I'm not living in a dangerous area, but it's not the suburbs where I could do a lot of long walks for a long period of time. It's just not safe. So I decided that, especially during this time, and if y'all want to follow this lead, I'm telling you, it's the best thing to do. Go online and type in cheap tickets on Google. Find places, I mean, they have tickets that are like dirt cheap. Maybe do a day trip. Maybe do a two-day trip. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Go out and explore other places and go for walks. That's what I decided to so do. So you went on a trip. Talk about it. I did. You went on a solo trip by yourself. Talk about it. I did. I went to Colorado. It was just a day trip. It was weird because I landed there at 12 midnight, slept at the airport, and then early that morning, I took myself to a nice breakfast. I took a train, and I took myself to a reservoir out there in Aurora, uh, Colorado. And it was so relaxing, y'all. It was like this huge lake. Nice scenery, um, a grand place where I could walk around. Just being open. I like walking around in open spaces. 
Mm -hmm. Not sorry to be long winded, mm -hmm. but that's what I like to do. I like to walk around in like wide open spaces. It just relaxes me. So I'm no longer living in the suburbs anymore where I could do that. Now I'm finding I'm finding creative ways where I can walk around wide open spaces and go to different cities and explore places without being confined to one place. We've right. been in lockdown for a whole year. Right. I'm ready to get out. So I'm gonna be you, outside. You know, I like hiking too, but you know yes. there have been study after study stating that being around trees makes you happy. Mm -hmm. So they've done several studies about just walking in nature and being yes. around trees. It, it I don't know how so, but it makes people happier to be in that in that natural setting. I think it's the oxygen. Agree? Yeah, I agree. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, trees give off oxygen, mm -hmm. you know, and think about it. We've been locked in inside mm -hmm. of our four walls and we haven't been out. Like, you need that vitamin D. You mm -hmm. need the extra oxygen. Mm -hmm. Don't be confined to one place. Move around. And I, I that was very liberating for me because mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of planes. Mm -hmm. I hate to say that, but I'm not. But I'm learning to. And it was a great experience. I had a good time. Good. It was just me by myself with my thoughts, just mm -hmm. trying to process things. And uh, it was great. And I want to do it again. So my next trip, hopefully, will be to L.A. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go to the hills and hike up there mm -hmm. alone and uh, come right back. And so, yeah, that's one of my ways of doing self-care for myself. Okay. Yeah. What's your way of doing self-care? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get the opportunity to do self-care is the question. I just have so much going on. Um, honestly, self-care is something that I am guilty of not doing. Yes. That I need to set aside time for for me. I often just don't have the time to. I have some things in the works uh, to create more time for myself and the things that I want to do that will be more of an investment in myself. So I have uh, began to take those steps to do that. Um, but other than that, friend, going out with y'all definitely is self-care. <laughs> and self-destruction at the same time. I ain't no destruction. <laughs> oh, it could be, but I my, my liver, it pays for it the very next day. But just, I honestly don't have a lot of time to just, Sit in reflection. I, you know, I read my Bible That's in the care. mornings, but I gotta get up at four a.m. to do it. So, but it's up, but and then I'm still, still getting home at six, seven o'clock in the evening. So you it, fit it in? You fit I'm fitting it in at four o'clock in the morning, and so I would definitely say my days go a little smoother yeah. when I start off right, start off oh, reading word. the Bible, start off praying. I pray and meditate in the morning sometimes. Yeah. I'll have a pray and meditate in the car, which is sometimes kind of productive because I'm cussing at the same time because I'm on my way to work in traffic. <laughs> so, but it's something that I definitely have to do better. Yeah. With, you know, just setting up that time. But yeah. I am in the works of doing that. I have made an investment in myself um, to do that. So, yeah. yeah. I think going over your schedule and it's easier said than done some of us we have that capability where we can just adjust things the way you mm -hmm. want to and some of us don't and it's like you have to prioritize and wing things out and budget things out to see if you're capable of doing so because again it may be self-care but you're still uh, you have people relying on you mm -hmm. you have and I, i'm now in that position where i have to make sure my schedule is open for other people because due to you know different life changes mm -hmm. um you know whether it be a parent or this and that but um i've definitely am taking more control of my work life mm -hmm. i used to be that i'm a hairstylist and i used to be that one like oh i gotta chase money oh i mm -hmm. gotta make mm -hmm. sure i make ends meet <laughs> Thank God I'm in the position where money is chasing me. Mm -hmm. I got so many clients, mm -hmm. I can't control it all, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it's not all money is good money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of clientele. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on, but it's driving me nuts, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, I had to sit down, go back, and rearrange my schedule. And saying no to people, I think that's a that's self care number yeah, one. Yeah, self care number saying one is saying no. no. Like and, it's okay and, to be out there for other people, but if you constantly saying yes, how are you being there for yourself? Right. So I had to learn just to cut my schedule and down be okay to a certain, with saying no and saying no in the mornings. 
I meditate. I, I, I get into that word and I started working out. Mm-hmm. That's going to be my time. From 8 to 9, nobody can disturb me at mm-hmm. all. The phone is off. I'm working out mm-hmm. and I'm focusing on me. Mm-hmm. After that, I'll answer all the questions. I'll book your appointments. I'll go ahead and start doing hair at 1030. If you book an appointment before 1030, actually you can't. You know why? Because I blocked it. Y'all can't do that no <laughs> more. That's my self-care. Mm-hmm. I yeah. blocked people from having the accessibility to me to where they get messed up my piece. No. Yeah. I need time for myself around certain times. And, and that's my self-care. And that's where I've been struggling with a work-life balance. Mm-hmm. For years, I have not had a work-life balance. Yeah. And that's where I am right now, making taking those steps to have that work-life balance to where I can still, you know, keep a roof over our heads. Yeah. But as well, have time to do the things that focus in or more in Make alignment of my purpose and my passion, and that's what I'm all about now. That's yeah. the investment in myself, living my life. Because a lot of times we we live eight to ten hours, but it's not in alignment of our passion and purpose. We're somewhere exactly. eight to ten hours a day giving our time, our energy to this area of work. It could be work. It could be something else. But it's not in alignment of our purpose and our passion. And I'm definitely a proponent of having to give up some things to be in alignment with who I am and who I'm becoming. Gotcha. Because who I was a year ago is not who I am now. And I'm just trying to find Evolve. that walk and in, in walk in that path. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's good. I think it's all about just evolving as a person. Mm-hmm. You know, some things you, you, you find one passion and one thing, and after some time you're like, wow, I feel like it's draining. I feel like yeah. life shouldn't be so freaking hard. It, like It shouldn't, but it, it is. It is. But to, to say what you said, you know, people's passions change all the time. Mm-hmm. But your purpose stays the same whether you know it or not. Oh, yeah. But like, your passions always change. My, my passion could be something today and not the same tomorrow. But my mm-hmm. purpose, I know my purpose is to help others yeah and i've walked in that path but my the but the way i want to do it is different than what i've been doing right yeah. there's so many different avenues to like a purpose mm-hmm. and sometimes we get so uh caught up on traditions mm-hmm. and what we think is proper to um get to that purpose mm-hmm. and we follow it and then we realize okay but that's the beauty behind it i don't feel like it's a a, a tragic thing i think mm-hmm. that's the beauty behind it that hey you know there's other options like mm-hmm. i like talking to people i like you know picking people's brain and seeing how they think and, and things of that nature and i enjoyed it when i was in banking mm-hmm. but after a while i was like this this is not what's up like mm-hmm. i don't i don't feel like i'm digging deep as the way i want to right and I can't because it's banking. It's corporate. Right, it's corporate. I'm like, man, yes. I forgot to clock in. Yes, And look yes. at this annoying supervisor. By the way, if you watching it, ha! <laughs> you stupid. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing my own thing. But I definitely feel that there's a beauty behind purpose because there's so many avenues. This like That's a good word. Your purpose will still be the same, but there's different ways that you may go about mm-hmm. it. And I think that's the whole journey about mm-hmm. it. It's a, it's a journey. It's a, so much a journey. Okay, so here I go babbling on about nothing. So y'all can write that in the podcast in the comments. <laughs> go ahead. I don't know if my mind be rolling and I be like, stuff be popping up. I be talking about random stuff and some people be like, oh, she's weird. But it is weird, but I've always been drawn to these wonderful classic childhood stories okay i'm drawn to alice in wonderland i'm drawn to the wizard of oz mm-hmm. i'm drawn to never ending story uh what what other childhood movie i'm just into those kind of movies because it's weird like you each the, each one of those stories they they all they all had that that one purpose the little girl get lost well her, as far as i didn't might tell you to leave the front <laughs> But a oh, little girl gets, gets lost. Get and she lost. Needs and she, all her purpose these... is to find her way Bad. home. Yeah. It don't change. Ain't nothing changes. The girl want to get home all of a sudden. But she meets all these people, people in her way. Yes. Along the way that people. help her. Yeah. Exactly. With, to realize different aspects yeah. in life. Like a wrinkle in time. I think a wrinkle in time is very good. Oh, yeah. Oprah that's a good one. That's too. a real good one. Yeah, I, like I think Disney puts out a lot of stories that hit on. 
finding purpose. you, finding who you are. Like yeah. at, at the end of the day, their message is find what makes you happy. happy. And I think that it, that's beautiful that they implant that into young kids' minds of finding purpose and happiness in your yeah. life. Yeah. I like those stories. This I makes do me too. feel like I kind of make my life feel because it's sure. <laughs> It doesn't need to call me. I got a story for y'all. But yeah, like, I feel that those stories are a great way for children to learn, like, hey, this is life. Right. You're going to find a difficult part in your life because everybody's going to go There's through There's going to be some darkness some, in your life, somewhere. period. Yeah. And you're going to go through this journey, this path, and it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be pretty. This is real life. Yeah. That's how it is. And like Lewis Carroll said, like you meet people on the way in your journey and in your path to get you to what your purpose is supposed to be. And some and people are there perfect, to stay and, and some, some people, people are not. And you have to be okay with yes. people having seasons in your life. It, but as, as long as they have positive lasting impressions. On your life, get well, rid of those. With, we'll get rid of those with the negative impressions, and but they're I still there like for the a reason. The negative yeah. impressions, they're I still there it. to teach you lessons because you have to learn. That's where I you like, learn. I like being wicked witches of the west and <laughs> green long nose uh, females <laughs> and, and fake friends. I, I, I love those journeys. I love. Them. I, don't, I mean, I've been through them and I don't like them, but I've learned I love from it. them. I have learned from them, and people know who know me. I've learned to cut you off real quick. I, I'm going to put my heels high. Go home, Dorothy. I, I have the beauty of With cutting my red somebody bottoms. off real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just don't stand for it. But, oh, yeah. I'll cut you so quick, so yeah. fast. But you, you have a fade quicker <laughs> than Michael Jordan. Bitch. Yeah, you go through those journeys and, uh, yeah, and then it leads you to your purpose. Um. But definitely self-care is just a way for you to definitely reflect on what's good for you. But I I think also what we need to realize with self-care is not being selfish. Yes, absolutely. It's definitely not. Because at first when I heard the word self-care, you know, me and her both raised in the church. And number one rule is that you don't be selfish. Mm -hmm. And when I first heard it, I was like, self-care, what is that? You you just worry about yourself? I ain't got a problem with it, but it's kind of, you know. No, because... It's not selfish because if you're no good, you're no good for no one else. Other and people. if you don't have anything to pour from your cup, if your cup is completely depleted because right. people are just sucking from it constantly, right. then you have to be able to re-energize yourself. I mean, right. you just have to. So it's not it's not selfish. It's saying no to what does not serve you. Exactly. And I think it's also biblical, too. For some of y'all who are of the Christian faith, you know, that's the way we was raised. And the Bible says to love thy neighbor as you love thyself. And I think sometimes we read that passage and we kind of glance over it like, oh, you must to just love other people and just give yourself to people. But really what it's saying is you have to really love yourself. Yeah. Like really love yourself. Yeah. How can I go out and love other people when I'm mad or right. I, I, my self-esteem is low or I'm not taking care of myself? I'm, I'm tired. Not really about, I'm tired. <laughs> right. So how, how are you going to do that? Right. So you definitely need that time to self reflect and to and do personal investments within right. yourself to re energize, yeah. yeah, just do it because you know. And sometimes when you go through self care, you'll go through those stumbling blocks where people think that oh, you are being selfish. No, again, it's a journey. Let, let me go through my period. It's going to blossom into where it benefits everybody. Right. But for right now. I definitely have to focus on myself. And then, so, you know, people think you're being selfish, but, you know, like saying no. No to what doesn't get bring you peace. No to what doesn't bring you joy. No to what doesn't bring you satisfaction. No to what takes away from your time from doing other things that you could be doing. Just no. saying no is self-care. And if people don't realize that, then they're not in your circle. They're just not. They don't need to be in your circle. Right. So, saying no so that you can have peace. You can have rest is self care. Yeah. I have to cut some clients off because it was just too much draining your energy. Draining, yeah. and I was, you know, here's the thing. Like I always say, not all money is good money. You know, you can put yourself out there and get as many clients as you can, or try to satisfy the as many hours as for your job as mm-hmm. possible. Whatever, whatever, uh, you know, uh, um, career that you go through. But at some point, you have to really look out for yourself because. 
Whether, if it's draining you, yes. if it's if it's draining your time, if it's draining your energy, Child, so you, you have me. to you have to be able to find that balance. Now I'm not saying quit your job, everybody can't quit the job, mm-hmm. but but you have to be able to find that balance of where you can be in a position to yes, go to work, but also have time for yourself, have time for your family, have time for the things that bring you gratif- uh, gratification, yeah. um, enjoy, and excitement. Because it's always not in work. So facts, yeah. But I like self care, it's 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 a journey. Yeah, and you know us being older, cause we, we ain't never heard. Have you ever heard that term self care when we was no. young? Hell no. Okay, this really reflects. So, what about your parents or how you were raised? Like, have you ever seen... What was your ways that your mom or your dad would do self-care? Like, have you ever seen that action? Was it more private with them? It probably was did? private. I've never seen yeah. my mom uh, do self-care. Oh, this is my, my self-care. My, my mom's self-care was <laughs> in the Bible. Oh, good. Mom, and, too. And speaking in, in church. Yes. That was her self-care. That was, that was my mom's self-care. It's always yes. church. But yeah, it was giving, always giving, church giving, related. Though. Yes, giving of herself. That was her mm-hmm. self-care. That was my um, parents' self-care. But I never saw my mom get a massage. And, I mean, she went and got her hair done, but... But I was like, in, that, it, in them days, did they even focus on that? Like, no. massage? Yeah. No. They my mom, didn't. she wouldn't even let nobody touch her. <laughs> she wouldn't even get a pedicure without laughing. One time we got pedicures together and she embarrassed me. <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh, my God. It tickles. I said, oh, my God. Yeah, and I you know, never I never saw my mom just go out and do anything. Yeah. My mom was always taking care of people somebody else yeah. yes yes so. but i'm really I'm, I, I'm i'm glad that in this period i don't know how the trend started but i, I i'm learning to because accept people it. are tired that's how t- the trend started people mm-hmm. are aware tired. and so you know we've been so conditioned and i know i'm going off topic and we can but we've been so conditioned to work until 65 and retire yes. and then when you when you retire at 65 then you live the rest of your life but Nowhere in between was there taught to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, you're so conditioned to grow up, get a job, or get married, have children, take care of your children, take care of your husband, mm-hmm. be the perfect wife, be the perfect mom. But nowhere in between are you taught, bitch, take care of yourself. Like, exactly. push them kids off on somebody else. Go get a mani pad. I don't think mani pad is a self care. Um, but I mean, it is, but not in my, my, my idea of self-care is being away from it all. Like yes. self-care is, is out of this house, not without my husband, not without my children, yeah. not without my daddy, not without work. It self-care is just me being alone by myself. Yeah. Maybe somebody massaging on me or something, but just away from Anything that I deal with every day, but anyway, mm-hmm. we're so you were just so conditioned to be the perfect mom, be the perfect wife, be the it's be 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 take you know, care I'm of somebody else, myself. take care of somebody else, take care right. of somebody else. Where when you sit down and you want to do from something for yourself, you feel guilty for it. And you know, okay, and I, I could definitely test to that. And and we even talk about like improving and investing in your life. Mm-hmm. Ooh, she's gonna laugh, but I don't care. <laughs> I always had this thing. I don't know why. Like, okay, I like nice things in life, right? Mm-hmm. But I always had this thing. Like, do I deserve it, right? You so, deserve it. I deserve you it. You always feel like you don't, but you do. Baby, yeah, because she don't sing. I, I don't move into some places. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a lot of that was fear of if you could, you could do it. It could was do it. Yeah. And when I look back, I was like, okay, Paula, you got all this money, and. <laughs> I would always make sure yes. that I was like below everything. When it comes to like cars, places to live, I just never had that confidence. Like, oh, oh maybe I don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. Let me just be so humble. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't, I, I don't, I can't, I don't know if I can. Maybe I need to sit down and think about it. But I don't know if it's associated associated with self esteem. I don't know. I don't know what made me do stuff like that. Thinking back, I'm just like, you know, Paulette, no. Mm-hmm. You should want nicer things in life. I'm not saying that she got to go out and get a Gucci bag or uh, a Fendi or you guys live in a high rise or buy a big house. But, girl, be comfortable. And, and maybe I should have been a better friend to tell you because I was it. <laughs> but I should have no, been. No, you were. Did girl, I? When you and Maya came over, y- y'all was like, 
And yeah, we were looking around. I was like, Maya, don't sit there. <laughs> that's why I thank God for sisters. I, I love my sisters. Yes. I would say with self care, I. I incorporate my sisters in it because they will tell me mm-hmm. the truth no matter how bad it hurts me. Mm-hmm. I remember I moved into... Look here. Yeah, I'm a suburb girl. We both were raised in the suburbs. We had a certain type of living. We're not saying that we bougie girls. But we Our parents took good care of us, okay? Mm-hmm. And we were put up to a higher standard as far as how we supposed to live. And I came to this place where I, I wanted to be independent. I wanted to leave. And I wanted to just be on my own, but I didn't do enough research, so I decided to move into quickly into this apartment, just to say that she was on her own. Just to say that I didn't do no research, nothing. I told my sister where I was moving to. She proceeded to tell me about a death that happened <laughs> in the same neighborhood. She said, "Oh, did you see that grassy you knoll next to your apartments? There was a dead body right there. Sure, you want to move into those apartments, sis?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm finna move there." Okay, fine. And then one day she came over. She was like, "Sis, I know you're doing good for yourself, but you want to, but you definitely want to have better. Like this is not what's up." But I think a lot of it, and maybe that you didn't feel like. I don't think oh, it was one hundred percent that you feel like you didn't deserve it, but I think it was more so fear of if you could afford it. You wanted to live and where I you could. knew that was the sad part. Was comfortable. I know. I was like, Paulette, but why? Looking back, I was just like, what? But now, <laughs> no, honey. Yes. No. I now I want the best because life is short, and mm-hmm. I and here's I think that we not to get off track, but we also need to find a balance because mm-hmm. some people what they call it self care, but then you go on a tangent and you're focusing on things that don't uh, matter or produce fruit. And right. I think with self care is, I think we need to dig deeper into what actually what it is. Is it to where you're a better person for humanity, for society, like how you are making a but change, something that's positive? What we should be striving for, for to be the best versions of ourselves, so that we can share it with others. other people. But some people and I know that's them. my purpose. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some people's version of self care, I'm like, mm, that's selfish. But mm-hmm. hey, whatever works for you. It, it, that, that's the meaning of self. Is your own person is what you want to do that makes. You you happy. Right. And if it makes you a better person for humanity, then so be it. That's exactly what I might what not it agree is. with it. She might not agree with it. You, you know, who, whatever. But self-care definitely has to be implemented in all of our lives. Because you only live a, a short amount of time on this planet. And God forbid you sitting at home and you like, oh, I could have done this, this, and that. And I right, and you're living with regrets. And that's why I don't, don't want to I definitely don't want that to happen to me. Yes. And that's why I'm on this different path. Um, I have been on this different path for, whew, girl, a couple of years. And just trying yeah. to figure out who I am and how can I best serve God's people and yeah. I've definitely found that path now. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Paths are so different and different. I found a path. I ain't gonna discuss it. But I found a path. Things that I I I'm learning about myself and in, uh, in different as well in a certain aspect I'm learning and I'm like, yeah, you know, this this is what makes me happy now. Mhm. And um, share a piece of it. Huh? Share a piece of it. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. so, I, I don't I keep that to myself. Uh, yeah, but I think me not being so fearful of what really makes me happy is, is what I'm really... Like, I'm at a ultimate high. I'm going through a lot right now. We're not going to talk about the dark. So, definitely... Um, you know, I, I'm learning to like really dig deep into what my truth is as a person um Mm -hmm. what i'm looking for in a mate um i don't know if it's permanent or not but i know like i'm going through this journey where i'm just like i'm really finding what i really like Mm -hmm. what really uh pleases me what really um my truth Mm -hmm. um i'm not gonna spend much on it but it's i think a lot of people unfortunately they you know, they have their truth. They have what they believe will make them happy, but they can't do it because of, you know, what they've been taught or, or, or the family, conditions. the conditions mm-hmm. and things of that nature. So I'm learning to get out of all of that and um, looking at my past and, like, how I could have done things differently and really enjoying what really makes me happy now. Mm-hmm. And I feel really free and very liberated. So and living in now versus worrying about 
the past, the past. and who's going to judge you and things of that nature. Right. I'm just learning to just go with the flow. But, I, you know, I've learned that all we have is now. So That's many, it. Oft, oftentimes, and so many times, we always think about the past and yeah. we worry about the future. But really and truly, all we have Present. is now. It's yeah. tuning in to what's going on right now, now because you can't change the past and you yeah, don't know about the, the future. future and that's i think that's what yeah you know what that's good i think you know with self-care all of us could learn how to be more present yes enjoying moments when you're hanging out with your girlfriend i know but when i hang around her i'm in the, the moment with her yes you know what i'm saying it we having fun this is what we can talk about and this memories that girl we talk about the, uh, those moments down the line where i would like, be laughing like mm-hmm. oh my god remember that time but we're in a moment right. when we hang together uh, you know some situations especially relationships i think this is where self-care really needs to be implemented because it helps you make better decisions as far as your long-term mm-hmm. Uh, situations that you don't want it to affect you in a bad way. So if you're more present, be, just, just like she said, you worried about the the past and you worried about the future, but what's going on right now? Right. And those things can be a factor in your past or in your future. Right. So being present, just being in the moment, and just learning to just relax and enjoy the moment, and just just kind of just take the ride and just relax. I th- I feel like sometimes people are just so uptight. I'm one of them. Be so uptight and you run around like a chicken with the head cut off and oh, oh, but what if well, this didn't work out because remember he cheated on me and uh, mm-hmm. well, forget everybody else no 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 be present in the and sometimes it's hard it's easier said than, than done. done yeah and you would definitely have to train yourself to get into the moment yeah. it's not it's nothing that you just gonna wake up like I'm gonna be in this moment you know right. it's something that you have to practice and in, in and train yourself to be in Definitely. the moment. So you have to, uh, as best as you can, try to get rid of worries. But worries yeah. is just a natural part of life. You got to get try to get rid of anxieties. I know me. I'm not so much of a worrier, but I am a very anxious person. Yeah. Um, but I try to be like, look... You definitely can't change what happened yesterday. Uh-huh. I can't change what happened five minutes ago. That's- but... What I can do is try to be present in this moment and try to figure out how I will move forward without worrying about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's not yes. here yet. So it's just training your mind to just relax. And you, and you always taught me that. Relax. Oh, 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 she can tell you. I used to be so anxious about stuff. She was like, Paulette. And, but, you know, and I have. Relax. I, yeah, <laughs> I have been too. Cause, but people, people know me. Like, when I get anxious... It's always about right now, though. When I get anxious, it's about True. something that's going on yeah. right now. Well, if it's past or future, she'd be but like, well, if, it, if it's past or future... I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I'll cross that bridge when I get there, and I can't change what happened yesterday. Right. But, but I do get very anxious, like, in something that is not going right right now. I get yeah. very anxious, anxious about it. Yeah. But um, I'm just, you that's know... That's a good anxiety, I guess, Just though. try to... Relax. Relax. Yeah. 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 So definitely just just kind of pause and just be like, hey, just embrace what's going on right now. Yeah. And just keep it moving. And right. Just accept what it is, you know. But then, you know, way of self care is you could do affirmations for yourself. That's oh yeah, I do. Affirmations, I do. Be like, affirmations, hey, absolutely. I do I mine at eleven eleven each yeah, day, yeah. each night. Every time eleven eleven comes on. Or 9-11. I'd be like, Lord, help me. Yes. 9-11, Lord, yes. help me. 11-11, I receive. Yes. And that's going to be for me. I have a co-worker, yeah. Angie, thank you, who always, if it's 11-11, she's like, oh, shut up. It's 11-11. Yes, I do that and all whoever the time. is around, we all just get quiet and we get into our mm-hmm. space. Thank you, Angie. Um, but if definitely, y'all really don't know what 11-11 is. That's a good time for you to receive what the universe is trying to give you in a positive way. Mm-hmm. So whenever you see eleven eleven, definitely pause and just you know reflect a little bit. I pray and mm-hmm. start praying mm-hmm. to the universe and call those things that are supposed to be in your life. Mm-hmm. So that's what eleven eleven is for. For those that don't know, nine eleven too. I'm always into numbers. Nine mm-hmm. eleven. I always feel you know that's the number for help. Mm-hmm. So whatever I feel like I need help when I see nine eleven, I pray. And it's weird. I don't even try to do it on purpose. Mm-hmm. I'll just catch it. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's the way the universe or God or whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it is trying to make you present. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about that right now. 
being present in the moment and just reflect on things that you may need help with or things that you want in your future or to combat the past. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely that's a great way of Mm self-care. Yeah. And back to the manifestations and affirmations. Yeah. I am definitely, like, if you work with me, everybody knows I have, Mm -hmm. like, affirmations on my desk, positive quotes everywhere. I'm always writing positive quotes to people. That's a part of my purpose um, that I have. One day I'll discuss. When I'm ready to to unveil what I'm working on, I will um, definitely discuss that. But... Um, just positive affirmations everywhere. Just putting that positivity out into the atmosphere mm-hmm. and, and praying that it is uh, received and heard. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, self-care is a great thing. It is. Definitely going to wrap up about self-care. Um, however, we like for you guys to go out there and do your own homework. Sit around with your girlfriends or maybe just alone by yourself and just talk about things, how you can... Uh, make yourself into a better person and to find that better peace in your life and how you can improve your life and to really focus on you because and you invest are in your, yourself. Right. Yes. You are your own person and you only got you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, do what you got to do. And and this is for everybody. I don't care who you are, white, black, Hispanic, any anybody, president, CEO, janitor, Everybody, reflect and just be in the moment and find ways to make yourself a better person and definitely find ways to do self-care because you only got you and you only got this life. Mm -hmm. Reading rainbows. For joining me into Peace Square Sips and Condo. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in.